Well, I have a very special challenge, Alan, this morning. I've come to the west of Ireland to Spiddle and the set of Ross Naroon because they've given me my very own walk-on part to test out my Irish. Ross Naroon is Ireland's only Irish language soap opera. Filmed in the heart of Connemara in Spiddle, Galway, the show is celebrating its 21st anniversary this year. Some of you may have watched actor Stephen Fry's walk-on part in Ross Naroon in 2011. Dear Eve, just what do we uh, uh, um, I'll come on out of you to the here, my friend. Uh, uh, mm, you, you look hungry, Adost me. Ah, um, um, so she's in Chinga, my name is a couple of euro asset. Neil ain Ocras Erum. Boa Lumdul Go Orin. Hold on, sir. Well, now it's time for me to upstage him. My first stop is to take a quick look around the set as Mara Eilish, aka Katrina in Ross Naroon, guides me around. So Mara, here we are, we're on the, the main street of Ross Naroon and uh, you've been here for all 21 seasons. That's right, you yes. You started as a child. Yeah, I like to say that. That's my story, Alan. <laughs> Has it changed much over those, uh, over those years? Well, different storylines have come up over the years and of course we've had different people. There's yeah. only about five of us now here since the beginning but we've had uh, loads of new actors come and go over the years and loads of storylines over the years yeah. also. And of course it keeps up with it doesn't it? I mean the storylines they're not they're not shy of um, bringing up storylines with drugs and and different things like that and you have to like it's a small village but they have lots of different problems. That's it everything happens here as yeah. well and they bring everything you try to reflect real life I suppose. Is In really a rural what you're setting. To. Exactly yeah. and you people visiting and what they bring with them or people's secrets where they've been and when they come back what happened while they were away yeah. so they're not afraid to tackle big issues and big stories and we get a good reaction to a lot of them. And what's your favourite part of, of being a part of Ross Naroon? I just can't believe that I'm working here in my local area where I grew up and that I'm doing something that I love and that I'm still here I suppose yeah. so but I do I love it I love the variety and we do have good fun it's a really close-knit group that we work with. So now we're on good. the main street but there's other sets that you want to show me to so where are we off to next? We'll bring you into the shop and I'll okay, show you all the, the, into the shop pieces. Back. Now this will be a familiar sight to all Ross in the Room viewers. We're in the shop and this is run by your partner in the show. Yes, Vince runs the shop at the moment. It's great to see it like it's stocked like a real shop. It really is but we have to I have to show you this because look at this you have ham here but it's just Paper. Photocopy it's just paper. Photocopy <laughs> paper. So it looks like the real ham. They look like the real bacon, but it's only photocopied. It's brilliant. So these are little tricks of the trade that we don't see. That's it. And uh, all the chocolates, we were just saying, you know, stop all the crew and cast uh, robbing a little chocolate bar for their uh, coffee break. TCP is sprayed on them. So you leave them there. <laughs> so you'd, you'd never want to touch them. Next up is Gaudi's restaurant to get a cup of tea and a chat about some of the up and coming storylines. So we're in the restaurant here, so tell us the story behind this. Well, this is Gaudi's and Jason owns Gaudi's. He's Tyg's son and Porik is running the restaurant for him. But there's a lot of drama happening behind the scenes in the restaurant, of course. There's a love triangle. There's always a love triangle. <laughs> Jason. It wouldn't be the same without a love triangle. <laughs> Lots of fun. We all love the love triangles. And Jason and Katie have been together and they've had a lovely little baby. But unfortunately, we don't know who daddy is yet. Oh, right. Because Katie wasn't quite so good, I think. Uh, Mac had and a will we find out before the end of the season? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll hope so. <laughs> we'll hope so. Well, it's nearly time for my scene, so I think I should go in, maybe uh, rehearse and practice the lines a few bit, and get a bit of makeup on me, and uh, see how it goes. Right. So it's time for me to shine. But first, it's time to get a bit of makeup and see if my pronunciation of my line is up to scratch. Who better to keep an eye on me but shocked in the Gaeltas ambassador, Michal O'Kara? So Michal, my scene is nearly upon us and uh, they want me out on the floor, but I just want to uh, run through the lines. Is this okay and see how, how I'm doing? Cup on tea, let the hole. Cup on tea, let the hole. Gallant is perfect. Lovely tone as well. Oh, lovely tone. I yeah. keep going into a sort of country accent <laughs> I feel when I'm doing it. Cup on tea, let the hole. Yeah. Got a meal of mahogat. Brilliant. Is that good? That's really good. Oh. And expression there as well. Oh, there's a bit of expression, yeah. a bit of actoring coming out there as well. How are you feeling about it? I, it I'm actually quite nervous, would you believe? <laughs> I am really nervous about it. Cup on tea, let hole. Got a meal of mahogany. That's perfect. That's <laughs> a pro. Tell us about your, your your ambassadorship and what it's all about. Yeah, well, it's great. It's a fantastic job to have, I guess, first of all. It's kind of an honour to do it. So this year, there's myself, Miriam O'Callaghan, and Art Parkinson from Game of Thrones. 
And basically we're the faces of Shakti Nagelga this year, so we are trying our best to kind of use the mantra of Shakti Nagelga, which is bon tre lasti, or you know, just give it a shot. And I think for that's me, that's what I'm doing. That's so exactly this is the thing. So why I, you're I'm here. so bad at it, but I'm giving it a shot on national television. And that's what it's all about. And I think, like, like, like yourself, I'm not a native speaker. I'm my Irish in school, and uh, I've lived here in the Gaeltacht for a few years. So I work with TG Cahar, and it's improved as I've worked here. Well, I hope I get this right. The director guides me through my scene, where to go and who to say hello to. And then it's time for action. I don't think that was too bad. But it's time for take two, as the crew give myself and actors more direction about our lines and our positions. As you can see, there's lots of camera angles and lights, so it's time for a top off of makeup, and here we go again. Right, this is it, hopefully. I got it. I'm delighted. Next we visit the different studios around the set and how they are incorporated within the show. It was an absolutely fantastic day in Galway and great to meet up with the actors and crew of Ross Naroon. As a tea fanatic, it was the best line for me to say. And for the final time, Copante Le Do Hall. Hi. Copante Le Do Hall. Now, if I can do a little bit of a crow, I'll go. I'll go to the salt water. I'll go to the salt water. I'll go to the salt water.